Hi there, I'm Jessica, and I'm here with Gail Nackless and Lucy Webb, the producers of this incredible event. First, I want to ask you ladies, when did you know this is the event you wanted to produce here at Sundance 2014? We knew we wanted to do it because it's our eighth year at the festival. Um, it's 10th year, 10th anniversary at the festival. It's our eighth year doing um, a panel. And so we, it was not if, if we were going to do it. We knew we were going to do it. We were coming back. We hope to come back many more, for more, many more years. We have a special relationship, obviously, with the Sundance Film Institute because of what Lucy has done here all these many years, but also because two years ago we launched an initiative with Sundance Institute, Women in Film Los Angeles and the Institute, where we decided to take a fresh look at the statistics that women in the um, independent film face. And we used as our first year study uh, a class from the Sundance, in, Sundance um, Film Festival two years ago to follow these women and to see what happens after you get success at a film festival like Sundance Institute. And the uh, findings are, are are very telling it you know we can we can see where we kind of fall off the map and we see that it's clearly important for us to still be around we were asking the question should there be a women in film do you think it's still relevant and we we found a resounding yes when we came to the festival and so when we launched the study and really took a more deep in-depth look at it we saw that the numbers hadn't really changed in 10 years so we're determined to make a, a change. And I think there has been a real um, ignition of, of, of ideas and, and movement um, with this initiative and with a lot of women's organizations. Yeah. Now that you have these statistics, what can we at New York Women in Film do about this? One of the important findings was that women have very little access to money. And... It's a combination of the money people being a men's club, and it's also women are, it could be um, the way we're brought up, um, socialization, but we don't know how to ask for money. And, you know, you might get your Uncle Fred to fund your first film and have success at Sundance, and then it comes time to make your second film, and you go out to all the, uh, the usual places, and you're turned down. And that's incredibly distressing after having success at a, at a festival like this, which is the, one of the top festivals in the, in the world. I think the top festival in the world, other than the Cannes Film Festival, and frankly, this festival breeds brings a different type of filmmaker. So one of the things that we did to, to deal with this very important issue is just a, a couple of months ago, we had a finance forum. And it was not for newbies. It was not for uh, a woman just coming out of film school. This would be for women who have had, who have made at least one film and have had that film accepted into one of the top film festivals. And we got together the top experts in in film financing, and to talk about the new, you know, the the, the new uh, ways that people are getting money, raising money. What else can we do to empower women? Oh, for, well. If, New York Women in Film and every other chapter, L.A., we, we, we all have to join together. And one of the things that we did that we did with this initiative is invite all the like organizations to come on board with us and ally with us in this, in this, um, in this initiative. And because we all share a very similar mission and we... And we know that, you know, with numbers, we can make a better impact than if we do it all ourselves and if we're running little parallel organizations, that if we can all work, find a way to work together, we, we know we're going to have a lot more success, and that's what we're doing now. And this has been a Herflix moment.